Hello everyone, this is Susie Q, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have Maggie May with me, and her baby sister, Abby Rose, is sitting on her lap, um, because they have become uh, virtually inseparable ever since I got little Abby Rose. And then, um, but who's not very far away, is Katie Lynn, who is sitting in her little pink rocker down there. Um, there just wasn't room for her on the, the um, changing table, but I'll be bringing her up um, towards the end. Hopefully, if I remember, knock on wood. <laughs> anyway, um, I brought uh, Maggie May on today because I uh, I wanted to show you some outfits that I had gotten her um, from eBay recently. And they've all been kind of trickling in to the mail um, this past week. And so I wanted, I, I usually I don't do hauls um, because I don't uh, actually buy clothes in abundance like this. Usually it's like one by one or something. But um, this time I decided, you know, Katie, um, I'm sorry, Maggie May, um, you know, she doesn't have very many spring and, spring and summer outfits. And the last time I changed her um, for a theme Thursday in the, her Under the, the Sea Mermaid outfit that she's wearing now, um, I discovered that I have maybe two more dresses for her for the summer and the spring, and that's just not going to that's just not going to do for Maggie May. So um, I went online to eBay and I found some some clothes at really good bargains um, that I wanted to share with you today. And then at the end, uh, I am going to put Maggie May into one of the outfits. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll keep these two um, sitting in the the uh, changing table, and as you can see, little Katie Lynn is uh, she's watching as well so the first one that I opened today was, was this one and it's a really it's a um, like a nice summery outfit um, with no sleeves she is um, she's full arms and full legs and also has a chest plate so she'll look really nice in this but it um, the thing that re I re loved about this was first of all it has really pretty blue um, like a plaid striping um, I love this color of blue. I love all col colors of blue, but this just really caught my eye because it also has a shiny uh, thread that's running through it. And then it does have these uh, pretty uh, pineapple appliques on it. And it has a cute little ruffle on the bottom. I just thought this is, you know, it would be so cute on Maggie Mae. So, um, so that's the first one. And then some of them, let me see. Oh, I gotta go get my scissors. Here they are. Uh, found them. <laughs> um, this one is an outfit that I liked because it also came with a pair of shoes, little um, summer sandals. And it also came with a pair of bloomers. So let's go ahead and open this one. Um, let me see. Some of these bags, it's really handy how they have, it's taped at the, at the um, edging like that. Uh, this is really nice. Um, it has a, a business card in there, and this came from the Wild Blueberry, um, the Wild Blueberry 8 at gmail.com. But uh, anyway, here it is. Um, you know, I would say that 99% of the time, the clothes that I get from eBay are, you know, they're very well wrapped, and um, they come to me in really excellent condition. But of course, I always make sure that I read, you know, all the details before I purchase something. But I thought that she would look really cute in this. Um, because I'm finding that she looks really pretty in these bright kind of colors. I also like these little flowers um, at the waistline. And then it's got these uh, real pretty little flower-shaped um, shiny red buttons down the back. Uh, it also has um, a cu couple of little skirts uh, inside. It's got this one that's the uh, like the tutu fabric, and then it's got um, a, a sort of uh, it's made out of nylon with the tutu fabric along the edging. So it's a nice full um, dress, and I won't have to put a slip underneath to make it full because it's already full. But I will need to iron it, um, and I don't mind ironing at all. It's kind of a fun thing to do, especially with a little dress that's so small like this. 
Uh, anyway, these are the matching bloomers. Really, really pretty. Love this color of, I call this color um, hot pink. Uh, it's really pretty. And then um, I will show you the shoes, which are right here. And these shoes are from Old Navy. And they just happen to um, to go along with the, the you know the colors in the dress. So she's really going to look cute in this outfit. So I'll set that one aside. Uh, I got her some summer clothes as well, or summer dresses as well as some a couple of fancy ones. But here's the next one. I thought this was really really pretty. Love this one. Um, so it's got. As you can see, it's it's got this gathered lace along the waistline with a beautiful satin bow. And then look at the fabric. Um, it's got little, I, I don't know what you call this. Um, it's the, you know, I know that there's a fabric called dotted Swiss, but these dots are actually bigger than dotted Swiss. Um, can you see them? They, they're kind of poking out of the fabric. Um, really a nice texture. And then the back of it, um, this will have to be ironed too. It also has these little ties that will be ironed out and um, she'll have a real pretty bow in the back. So yeah, this is really, really cute. Love this. Oh, I was going to say too, this one um, also has a slip uh, that's uh, attached. So she won't need to wear a slip under this one either. Isn't that nice? Love that. That's fully lined, as you can see. Really, really nice. And then the next one, and this is how a lot of my things come from eBay. They're from different sellers, but they, you know, they come so nicely wrapped. This one says thank you on it. Really a nice touch. So, let's see. Yeah, that came with a pair of bloomers too, but Okay, so this is sort of, um, this is a super, super summery dress. And the reason I like this is because be, uh, because Maggie Mae <clears throat> has a chest plate and a back plate, I thought she would look really, really cute um, with her little back showing uh, in the back of this little dress. And this also, let's see, I was trying, I'm trying to figure out, um, it's got a little, it's got a little bow in the back. And it's, uh, let's see, there's no buttons or anything. It just looks like it's, it's got an elastic backing so that it'll slip right over her head. So um, it'll be really fun for her to wear this. Like I said, she's got a chest plate and a back plate, and so it'll look really super cute on her. And uh, if you'll notice, it has eyelet edging, uh, lacing. And the bloomers that it came with also do. This is the back. <laughs> so that... I mean, that is just too precious. Too precious for words. And these are really, really cute. Okay, let's see. We're, we're getting down. <clears throat> I have a couple of more here. I got these. These came in a few days ago, so I've already gotten got them uh, hung up. But So this is a denim one uh, that I thought would look really cute this summer with, like, say, a short-sleeved um, little shirt or onesie. It's got this darling little bunny, little girl bunny that's almost looks like a toy. It's like a 3D, a 3D bunny, and um, I couldn't resist this because you know little girls like these kind of uh, likes likes these kind of outfits, and um, it's got little you know polka dots. It's got it's got on the pockets, um, and it's got little polka dot pockets on the back, and it's not it's not. Um, an overalls uh, pants like thing. It's actually a dress. So that's going to be super cute this summer. And then um, this one is a like a romper. And it's a two piece. It just happens to be it's still hooked up hooked on to the to the uh, the dress part. But so I guess it's not really a romper. It's a since it's not attached, it's a bloomers with a little top over it. And I thought she would look really pretty in this color. And there's the back. It's got these really pretty butterfly sleeves. She looks really good in the, this style. Um, I might just put her into that one. 
I'll put this aside right here. Okay, um, I have three more. Now, this one just came today, and it's in such a little tiny package. I'm a little concerned because she wears a size 12, uh, 9 to 12 months. So, hopefully it's, uh, <laughs> hopefully this is dress is going to be big enough. But we shall see. See, it comes in a really pretty wrap like that. Okay, all right. So, yeah, it's going to fit her for sure. Or, well, I don't know. This might fit Katie Lynn, actually. I think this is going to... Well, we'll see. You know, it's real funny. Um, size Sizes, it, it looks a little bit smaller than the, the dresses that I just showed you. But um, I'm looking for a tag right now to see what... And I don't see a tag. Um, uh, I don't see any kind of a size tag, so... Anyway, we'll see. But this is really pretty. It's, um, let's see, what would you call this? It's, it's got, it's nylon-like. Um, it's got real pretty shiny uh, stripes, uh, see-through stripes that's running through the pattern. Um, it's very pretty. Love this, love this dress. Super, super summery. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking Katie Lynn's going to fit into this more than Maggie May is, so that's okay. Katie Lynn, I think Katie Lynn just got a, <laughs> a new dress too. It's got this cute little bow. This is so pretty. And this one also has an attached um, skirt. Um, I'm sorry, slip. So it's got this lining, and then it's got this tutu lining on um, on it on a separate slip. Really, really pretty. Love this. Okay, um, so the more fancy ones are this one. Um, you know, Maggie Mae is all about being fancy sometimes, and so um, this and these are these were dresses that I got at bargain prices. Um, some of them, the, the ones without the tags, have actually been worn. Uh, once or twice, and this is one of them. It's in excellent condition, and this is why I love this dress. I mean, one reason why. Look, see, Maggie May, her little back is going to show through there, and um, it's so neat to have a baby that has a chest plate and a, and a back plate because um, you can get little dresses like this, and they look so cute. So this is sort of like an Eastery springtime dress. I love that one. It's also got an attached slip underneath. Let's see, it's got this first one. And then it's also got the second one that has the little gathering all along the bottom. It's really pretty. I like the sparkles in it too. Can you see the how it sparkles? It's really, really pretty. And, oh, I should probably show you this little shrug came with it. So she can wear this little, little shrug over it. It's got a really pretty crystal button. And then these little bloomers, which are made out of the, um, the nylon fabric that's in the slip. Like I said, I, I mean, I got these at bargain prices just because they are, they call them um, pre-owned. Last but not least, I couldn't resist this dress at the price at the price that it came. Um, this dress I thought was the most beautiful dress that I have ever seen um, for Maggie May, and it's got okay, so it's got little pearls inside of these embroidered flowers, and it's got pearls and then um, little see-through beads that are backed up with a, um, a silver little flower. And I just couldn't resist this dress. This is like, this is like a little girl would wear to, uh, like as a flower girl at a wedding. But there it is all the way down. It's got a really neat hem line. And then look at the back. The back has this really special, beautiful ribbing along there. No, actually, that, that I'm sorry, that's not how it is. It's, it's actually a tie. <laughs> yeah, it's got a satin. It's got a, 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 a really long tie so that I can tie, the, tie it into a beautiful big bow for her. It's got these really pretty 
um, rose flowers in the front um, with little pearls. Each one has got a little pearl in the middle. So anyway, I couldn't resist because um, Maggie Mae is, you know, she's, she's such a beautiful doll and um, I just wanted to get her something super special. So it's got many, many layers. It's got one, two, three, four, five. It's got five layers. So this is really a special dress. Okay, um, that's the end of my haul. Uh, so I wanted to dress um, Maggie Mae into one of the outfits. And I think because this one doesn't need to be ironed, I'm going to go ahead and put her in this one. I think it's just super, super pretty. And um, I won't need to iron it before she wears it. Now the other dresses, I most of the dresses I will. And um, so the next time you see them, I'll have ironed them. And um, I, what I do too is I, um, I have a little, oh, it's, it's a, a real light spray starch that I use. And uh, so I was wondering if this, I'm going to have to need to get um, her bows out at the end. Because the, the, this bow, even though it's really pretty, it, it, um, it's, it's got yellow in it and stuff, so it's not really the same color blue, so we'll change that. So hopefully I can get Maggie May um, changed so that this video isn't too long. But here we go with little Abby Rose, and she's going to say goodbye for now. I'm going to put her aside. And uh, so let's get started. Ooh, I also need to get her some cute little shoes. So we'll see. This is sort of like an ad lib, <laughs> an ad lib video today. Uh, so while I'm changing Maggie May, I wanted to do a. Um, it's a game that Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies did on her channel um, a couple of a couple of days ago, and it was really fun. And sh she wanted me to do it too. So um, the game is called Never Have I Ever. And so uh, I want to play that game, and it's kind of tricky, so you have to listen carefully. Um, so it's called Never Have I Ever, and what you do is you find the lie, okay? So with there's three statements that I'm going to be making, and one of the statements is a lie, okay? So the first one is, uh, my first statement is going to be, um, and I just wanted to remind everyone, and maybe my new um, subscribers too, that I live, I live on the East Coast on a farm, and so these are all um, animal-related um, statements because I love animals, and I thought it would be fun to have them um, to have it be, you know, geared towards animals. Okay, uh, my first statement is, and I just popped off her little bracelet, which. Which the bracelet really goes with this outfit, so I'm going to put pop that back on her. Okay, so the first statement is, um, and and you'll have to tell me if you think this is a truth or a lie. Um, never have I ever bottle fed a baby goat. Never have I ever bottle fed a baby a baby goat. My second statement is. Never have I ever helped with the birth of baby bunnies. So never have I ever helped with the birth of baby bunnies. Is that the truth or a lie? Last statement is, never have I ever nurtured a baby bird <clears throat> to adulthood. So never have I ever nurtured a baby bird to adulthood. Anyway, um, I would be interested to know uh, from all my Dolly friends which one of those statements that you think is a lie. And uh, let me know, and I'll, and I'll say them one more time. Never have I ever bottle fed a baby goat. Never have I ever helped with the birth of baby bunnies. And never have I ever nurtured a baby bird to adulthood. 
So play the game with me. Um, let me know what you think, and then in my next video, I will give you the to I'll give you the answer to never have I ever. So um, thank you, Suzanne, for um, for playing that game and um, for inviting me to play along too. And I think it's going to be fun to see uh, what my what my dolly friends think of. Um, <laughs> you know, let's see what they guess. So I'm going to go ahead and set Maggie May back up here. And put this little summer top on. And it looks like this is this is a size 6 to 12 months. And it's a Gymboree outfit. And um, she wears, uh, like I said, a 9 to 12 months. And I don't think a, a 6 to 12 months is going to make much of a difference. I mean, since it is a 12 months, I think it's going to fit her just fine. Oh, and by the way, um, I also bought a bunch of hangers um, from eBay also, and I'll show you what they look like. I bought them. I, I bought a bunch of pink ones for my girls and some blue ones for my boys because, um, you know, with buying new clothes like this, I'm always I'm always running out of hangers, and this last button here is a bit a bit challenging. It's it. This one was a new outfit, and so it's never been unbuttoned before. But there it goes. Okay, Miss Maggie May, that slips right over her head. Oh, she's going to look so pretty in this. She looks pretty in, I, I haven't seen a color on her yet that, that I haven't liked. Um, she's got really pretty blue eyes, so of course she looks great in blues. But that, that one dress that I showed you that has all the different colors in it, she also looks really pretty in those things. So, um, I don't know, she's just... Uh, with her skin tone and blue eyes, she looks really pretty in a lot of things, a lot of different um, colors. Now her earrings are already matching. Um, they are the same color as like that blue in her dress. So I'm going to leave her earrings on. But like I said, I am going to... Uh, I need to find her some bows to go. Let's Go ahead and put her, uh, see how pretty her bracelet is? Carrie from Carrie's Little Cuties uh, made me a, a few bracelets for my babies quite a while ago. And so uh, once in a while I can find an outfit that they will go with. And um, so that's the second outfit that I found that particular bracelet to go with. See how this fits just perfectly? It's a size 6 to 12 months. Like I said, she also can wear size 9 to 12 months. I think the 12 months on the size is the key. There's that third button and it's inside the ribbon. So that's why it's a little bit challenging. So um, she needs her bows and she needs her shoes. So I'm going to uh, turn, turn off the video for just a second so that you don't have to wait for me to find um, the rest of her accessories. And I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so I found these bows. I knew which ones I wanted to find, um, and these are the same, like, um, navy blue, the very same navy blue that's in her ribbon along her waistline, and it's also the same type of satin, so these are just perfect. I knew I had these. <laughs> so there's the bows, and then these are the shoes. Since it's kind of a summery spring outfit, I thought I would put these little sandals on her and then these um, socks that have the lace along the edge. So let's uh, let's see. I think I'll put her shoes on first. So I'll um, tilt the camera down just a bit. So you can see what I'm doing. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy playing this game with me. Um, I enjoyed Suzanne's um, game on her channel too. So... Um, she's Suzanne's babies if you want to go back a um, couple of videos and see the you know see the game that she played and try to guess along with her game too um, she said that she she the the game originated um, with her friend um, Mia and I'm guessing that it's Mia from Wishes and Wonders Nursery um, and so that's, I believe, where the game originated, but um, Suzanne, you can correct me if I'm wrong, because that's, that's the only Mia that I, that I know of. Um, 
Okay, so these shoes fit really nice. She's, um, these are a size two shoes. So yeah. Then we'll go ahead and get her hair done. Um, I buried my comb. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Let me tilt the camera up. And I'm, I know this is a kind of a long video, and I'm sorry, you guys. It's, this is just this is going to be real quick. I'm all I'm going to do is pop these little bows in. And just give her hair a little comb. Yeah, her hair has never got tangles in it, so it's really easy, really easy to take care of. Of course, it's not going to have tangles because what does she do but just sit all day in her rocking chair, right? Okay, um, so how do you like the outfit? I'll pick her up so you can see the whole effect. And there she is. And there's her little bloomers on. Oh, look at those little chubby, little chub, chub, chub chubs back in the back there. But there she is. Oh, that's really precious. Really, really precious. I love that. Okay, I'm going to bring the rest of my babies back up. Um, I'm going to bring Miss Abby Rose back up. <clears throat> Here she is. She's going to sit on her lap. And then I'm going to bring Katie Lynn up because Katie Lynn said she Katie Lynn saw her little uh, twin sister, uh, whose name is Matilda Jane, on Suzanne's channel today. And so she wanted to welcome little uh, Matilda Jane um, to the Dolly community. And she wanted to say... Um, you know, give her special um, hugs and kisses, and um, she says, oh, her hair is so beautiful. Um, she's got uh, ginger-colored long hair. Uh, Matilda Jane does, and so um, Katie Lynn is just so thrilled to have her as a twin sister. Anyway, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that it's so long again, but um, have, a, have a great day today, um, and have a have a um, safe, uh, safe uh, weekend, and um, we'll see you again in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.